hello everyone so welcome to the channel of rd technical learning so in this video we will be continuing with the java programming interview questions the coding interview questions that are frequently asked in the test automation interviews and in this video we would be covering the java program to check whether a particular year is a leap year or not how many of you have got birth dates on 29th of february right so that's the concept of leap year. So let us understand what is leap year first in detail. Okay. So leap year contains 366 days. Okay. And it comes once in every four years. Right. So for example, 2020 is a leap year. 2024, the current one is again a leap year. Right. And these are few of the facts about leap year. And this if, if this is clear to you, right, century year and non-century year, if these things are clear, then it is just a matter of writing if conditions, nothing else. This program is very straightforward. That's why I have written it in the IDE as well, right? And it is actually very simple to understand and to write also. So in an interview, whenever you go for leap year program, just keep in mind these four things, okay? A century year, what is a century year? So we were discussing about century and non-century. So century year is a year ending with 00, for example, 2000, right? A century year is a leap year only if it is divisible by 400, clear? Now a leap year, except a century year can be identified if it is exactly divisible by four, okay? So these are math related concepts that you would have studied in your college time, school time. And we, we are just revising the same thing, right? And then the century year should be divisible by four and hundred both. Okay. A non-century year should be divisible only by four. So now you have to understand this thing very clearly. A century year should be divisible by four and hundred both. A non-century year should be divisible only by four. We could have written the program which is divisible by four directly and that would have straightforward, you know, solved our program. But we also have to come up with a solution for the century year. The year can be inputted whichever the year that is coming as an input that can be a century year as well as non-century year. So we will have to deal with both these years so there will be multiple if conditions right so let us go to the ide now and let us write this program right this video does not get too long so i have written the program okay so what we have done is we have created a method to check leap year okay now we are also keeping one flag that is to check a non leap year by default okay if anything is uh, if any year is coming as non leap year by default then this flag will be false now let's start these conditions one by one so as i was explaining you during the logic of the pro uh, program earlier year is divisible by four then it's true leap year is there now we also will have to identify whether the given year that we are checking on is a century year or not so for identification of that thing right so to identify whether it's a century year or not so we have used this particular condition okay if the year is divisible by 400 when i say divisible fully divisible again equally divisible the remainder should be zero right then these particular conditions will come into the picture if else condition if it is completely divisible and we are getting zero as a remainder, then this flag will be true. Else this flag will be false. Okay. So now if you will see the uh, driver code main function, we also have created and it is just calling this functions that we have created here. And we are passing the year number as the parameter. So you can pass 2020, 2016, 2024, right? Now, if the year is not divisible by four, right, then the flag is false, okay, because it's a non-leap year. And these are simple system.out.println statements. 
So in the main function, you can see we have passed two parameters here. Let's pass 2024. Okay. And let's run this program now. Right, so 2000 is a leap year, 2024 is a leap year as well. Now let's do again 2003. We also want to see the program should run in the negative conditions as well. Not leap year. Okay, so this was a simple program on to, ch on to check whether the year is a leap year or not. Right. And... Uh, this is the one of the approach that you can take if this kind of question is asked to you in a real time interview. See, Java is very simple. It is straightforward. What it requires is a good amount of practice. Okay. Earlier, what used to happen? How many of you have come across these things that earlier you used to find math subject as very difficult, right? But slowly and gradually, as you are practicing maths, then automatically the as you are practicing maths, then automatically you would start liking it. You would start loving it, right? So similar is the case for Java as well. If you will practice it, the more practice you will do, the more confidence you will get by doing practicing because practice makes man perfect. So practice Java. It is very simple, very, very easy. Those who are not able to uh, learn the Java concepts or write these kind of programs, then for them, real-time interviews, it would be very difficult for you to crack those interviews, right? And get job opportunities. So please practice and you can watch these videos. It is totally free of cost. Please share the video link on the LinkedIn profile so that it reaches to the wide, uh, in, it reaches to the maximum people in the network, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.